this is the plane 4x plus 3y plus 6z equals 12. And what I want to do is find the volume inside of there. So you see you get this, it's kind of like a tetrahedron. It is a tetrahedron, it's not a regular tetrahedron. Not all sides are the same dimensions, but it's a four-sided figure where each side is a triangle. Okay, And I want to find the volume. Well, volume is obtained by integrating a triple integral over the region. What would I, what would I integrate? Well, remember how we did area, we just integrated the function one. So to find volume, you just integrate the function one. And that should make sense because if you integrate dv, you should get v. If you integrate, if you sum up all the tiny little volumes, you should end up with the total volume. That's what we're doing. So um, this is all we have to do. Our function is just one. The tricky part to this problem is figuring out how to specify the bounds on this one. And you can actually set this up dx, dy, dz, dz, dy, dx, any one of those six ways. Let's start with x, okay? So I'm just gonna pick an x, pick an x value here. And now for each x, I'm going to integrate this, I'm gonna find, I can specify different values of y by integrating in this direction, right? So for each fixed x, I can let y vary from here to here, right? And then for each of those y's, I can go from here up to the top. And I'll get to every point inside this tetrahedron if I do that. For each fixed x, I let y go from here to here. And then for each fixed x and y, I let z go from here to here. And that will get me through every single point in this tetrahedron. So that's one way to set up this integral. We started by I'm gonna leave some space here because I'm gonna put some stuff up here. Um, we started by fixing x. So x goes on the outside. And then for every fixed x, we integrated in the y direction, right? So y is next. And then for each fixed x and y, once I had those figured out, I got to this point, I integrated in the z direction. So z is last. So you work from outside in. Now, what are we gonna put in these bounds? Well, X is the easiest. I, what values of X do I do this for? Well, I just have to figure out where I started from. Well, that's clearly X equals zero. And then I have to figure out where I ended at. Well, I'm on the X axis, so Y and Z are zero. So that just says um, four X equals 12. So X must be three. So x goes from zero to three. That's the easy, easiest part. Um, I can also figure out what these points are because at this point, uh, x and z are zero. So uh, I just solve that equation, I get y equals four. And this point is when x and y are zero. So that's when z is equal to two. So I can figure out what these, the, the, these intercepts are. And now I can figure out what the bounds for this integral are, right? It starts at zero, y starts at zero, so I know I can put zero down there. How high does y go? Well, y goes up to this line, all right? Well, this is not gonna be a constant, right? Because it depends on x. Depending on what the value of x is, I go a different distance. So we have to figure out what function of x this is. Okay, let's figure that out. So let's look at this graph in the xy plane. So let's just take it down here, x and y, oops. And I'm just gonna draw that line. It had y intercept four and x intercept three, right? So that was the line that I was looking at. That's the same thing, just looking at it from above in the xy plane. So what function of x is this? Well, this is pretty easy because it's a straight line, it's, it's a slope is negative four thirds and it's y-intercept is four, so there it is. 
So that is what this line is represented by. And that's how high y goes. So what I'm doing is I'm really going from, you know, when I fix an x, y is going from here to here. Right? So it's going up to this height. So that's what I put here, negative 4 thirds x plus 4. Now, what about the z? Okay, so once I've specified those, I need to see how high to go. Well, I'm going to start at 0. That's clear. I start down here. How high do I go up here? Well, that's determined by the height of this surface. What's the height of the surface determined by? Well, it's, here's the equation right here. Just solve this for z. So if you solve this for z, you get, uh, we'll see, we'll subtract these things from both sides, and then divide by 6. Right? So that's, that's the height that we have to go. So that's the thing that goes over here. All right, so I'm going to have up here, I'm going to have 12 minus 4x minus 3y over 6. That's the bound, upper bound on the innermost integral. And we can figure out this integral. I'm not going to go through all the steps of figuring out. I see there's fractions. It's probably going to fill up an entire sheet of paper if I try to do it here in big, writing big so for the screen. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Maple and do it, all right? I, I, it's not a hard problem because I think these, these functions are just, they're all linear, right? So the, it, it, it's not difficult. It's just, it's going to take up, I'm running out of paper over here. So, okay, so what was the integral we were doing? Well, we were doing a triple integral. So I'll just grab triple integral of bounds over here. We said that the, um, oh good, it's even set up in the order that I set it up in. How, how nice. I looked out there. Uh, the x went from 0 to 3, 0 to 3. The y went from 0 to negative 4 thirds x plus 4. And the z went from 0 to, then we had that fraction, uh, 12 minus 4x minus 3y all over 6. The function that we integrated was 1, right? And let's see. Make sure that you got dz, dy, dx. You may need to change those orders if, if, uh, if necessary, but it's set up right. Oh, wow, look at this. Maybe we could have done it by hand if it came out that nice. Uh, the answer is just four. Right, not too shabby. So I, you should, as an exercise, go through and, and do this by hand. It looks like it'll be pretty, it'll come out all right. So suppose I wanted to do, let's really mix it up. Let's do dx. Um, dz, dy, how about that? You know, I know I need to leave space here because I had to write those functions up here. So I'm going to do, um, I said uh, dx, dz, dy. So here I'm starting with my y. All right, so start with a y. And then ask yourself, Oh, what am I doing next? I'm going Z. So I'm going in this direction. I'm going up in the Z direction. So for any fixed Y, I'm going to go up here. I'm going to integrate with respect to Z. And then when I, as I move along this line, I'm determining a Y and a Z. So then for each fixed Y and Z, how far do I come out in the X direction until I hit this surface? That's how we're doing it this way. Okay, so what does y range from? y goes from 0 to 4. Okay, now for each y between 0 and 4, how high does z go? Well, that depends because it depends on what y is. This is not, this is not a horizontal line, it's a diagonal line, so it depends on the value of y. I need to find this line as a function of y. Okay, so what is that? Well, it's uh, z-intercept is 2, and its slope is uh, down 2 over 4, so negative a half. So in the y-z plane, right, I'm just going to draw that line again. It just looks like this. z is equal to negative 1 half y plus 2, just mx plus b. 
except it's my plus b because it's y is the variable. So for each fixed y, that is how high I have to go. Okay, so z, let's go back down to the integral, z is going to go from 0 up to this high, negative 1 half y plus 2. That's moving up along this line segment in the back. So now, as I move along that line segment, I've specified both a y and a z. So now I have to ask, how far do I have to go out in the x direction? Well, I have to go from 0, from all the way in the back, up to until I hit this surface up here. Well, that surface is given by this uh, equation over here. So I want to know how big x gets, so solve this for x. If I solve this for x, I get, let's do that up here, I get uh, 12 minus 3y minus 6z over 4. So that's how big x gets. So x is going to go from 0 to that. Right? So it's going to be 12 minus 3y minus 6z over 4. That is an alternative way to set up this integral. All right, that'll also get me four. And in fact, this region is such that it's just a super nice region. It's not super nice, I mean, it's a little bit complicated to set it up, but it's nice in the sense that you can do it in any order. It doesn't matter what order you set these up in, you'll be able to find the corresponding functions that go here, here, and here.